let's see what the problem is sand has many important applications in construction it makes sand an important material for construction work the difficulty is not having an efficient and cost effective method to filter sand for small and medium construction projects now let's discuss why this problem was selected small and medium construction projects are the most common in the country but most of those projects do not use efficient methods to filter sand they rely significantly on humans and avoid using machinery due to high cost it will be beneficial to everyone and the economy to find a way to increase the progress of these projects now let's see why a new method is required as it was mentioned before significant human reliance for the filtering process leads to inefficiency even because of the labor shortages the efficiency in those projects will continue to decrease so it is very important to create a machine to filter sand at a reasonable cost now you can see the concept we designed Here you have the components of the design named. By observing this, you can identify all the components used in the design. The width of the machine is 2 feet. 6 inches the length is 4 feet now you can see the design up close Now let's discuss why this design was selected. Now let's break down the main functions of the machine. One of the main functions is the filtering process. Rapid filter movement is necessary for filtering sand. In this you get rapid filter movement by vibration the next part is separation according to particle size in here you have two nets to separate two different sizes of sand the next key function is waste removal in this machine waste is removed by tilting the filters Now let's talk about the physical principles and embodiments. To transmit energy a shaft is used. In here an unbalanced shaft is used in order to create a force that translate to vibrations. In here the filter is vibrated to allow sand particles to access the openings of the net then they fall down due to gravity In the waste removal process also 
Newton's law of gravitation is considered. In here, a tilt in the filter makes the unfiltered materials be automatically removed. Now let's look at the points for deciding on this design. This design was selected because it can filter sand efficiently. It doesn't have rapidly moving parts that can harm the user. It is light and can be transported easily. It is easy to use and maintain. Used materials can be observed here. All the materials used are easily accessible. Here's another brief look at the concept design. Here it is possible to observe the components in detail and how they assemble to form the machine. Here the function can be observed. The vibrations of the machine is visible. Once sand is added to the vibrating filter, waste material will be removed from the top pad, then the sand particles, then the sand particles that are too big to go through the second net is removed from pad 2. Finer sand particles are collected at the bottom. Functions of the machine is demonstrated in this part.